Good evening and welcome to the Citizens Forum. It is December 6, 2022. It is 6.45 p.m. We do have one person that has signed up. You have three minutes to speak. When you approach the podium, please state your name and address. Mr. John Skinner. My name is John Skinner. I live at 790 Stones River Road. Mayor, Alderman, soon to be official Alderwoman. Uh, first, let me start by saying it's so nice to have such nice representation on the board. We've got nice, young, beautiful people. And uh, did I mention how nice it was to have? <laughs> look, all seriousness aside. We, uh, we have a lot of things going on in the city. I have uh, expressed a desire to be part of that process. Uh, I would like to ask you for your consideration for my application for the Planning Commission. There's a lot of things that are going on, I know, and I want to be part of that process. Uh, the only way that I can be effective is if I'm on the inside, and I would like to be on the inside. I want to thank you for your consideration in advance. Please. But I'm always available, you know, uh, anybody asks me what my ideas are for the city, you know, you know I have no problems in saying what I would like to see. But again, I'll keep this short and sweet tonight. I'm sure y'all appreciate that, but please. Wholehearted consideration, if you would, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. With that, that closes out the Citizens Forum. We will reconvene at 7 o'clock. Good evening, and welcome to the Board of Mayor and Aldermen meeting. It is December 6, 2022. It is 7 p.m. I call this meeting to order. We do have a quorum. The prayer will be with Vice Mayor No. The Pledge of Allegiance will be with Alderwoman Elect Haas. If everyone would please stand for the prayer and the pledge. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you as always with humble hearts, bowed heads, Lord thanking you for another incredible day in your world because we know that without you nothing is possible. Lord, that we ask that you look over our fair city and our citizens and you give this board, Lord, the good knowledge to help move our city forward so that uh, things will be really great. In these things we pray, Lord, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. I, Jason Cole. I, Jason Cole. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear. To, to support the Constitution and the laws. To support the Constitution and the laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution and the laws. And the Constitution and the laws. Of the State of Tennessee. Of the State of Tennessee. And the Charter and the Ordinances. And the Charter and the Ordinances. Of the City of Laverne. Of the City of Laverne. That I will faithfully and impartially that I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of my office discharge the duties of my office as mayor of the city of Laverne as mayor of the city of Laverne to the best of my knowledge and ability to the best of my knowledge and ability congratulations thank you sir mm -hmm.
Ready? Yes, sir. Okay. I, Carol Haas. I, Carol Haas. Do swam, solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear. To support the Constitution and the laws. To support the Constitution and the laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution and the laws. And the Constitution and the laws. Of the State of Tennessee. Of the State of Tennessee. And the Charter and the Ordinances. And the Charter and the Ordinances. Of the City of Laverne. Of the City of Laverne. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of my office. Discharge the duties of my office. As Alder Woman of the City of Laverne. As Alder Woman of the City of Laverne. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations, Ms. Haas. Thank you. I, Kara Hobbs. I, Kara Hobbs. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear. To support the Constitution and the laws. To support the Constitution and the laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution and the laws. And the Constitution and the laws. Of the State of Tennessee. Of the State of Tennessee. And the Charter and the Ordinances. And the Charter and the Ordinances. Of the City of Laverne. Of the City of Laverne. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of my office. Discharge the duties of my office. As Alder Woman of the City of Laverne. As Alder Woman of the City of Laverne. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations. <laughs> First order of business is to approve the minutes from the November 1st, 2022 regular meeting. Motion to approve. I second. I have a motion to approve from Vice Mayor No, second from Alderwoman Haas. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And moving on to certificates. If I could have Ms. Megan Honeypet. few of our state representatives and commissioners as well. Mr. Mayor, uh, Ms. Hope Oliver just texted me. She is stuck in traffic trying to get here from Nashville or she would be here. Not a problem, sir. This is a certificate of appreciation granted to Megan Honeycutt for your dedication, time, and commitment to improving the city of Laverne and the quality of life of all of our residents. Your absence will not go unnoticed, and we wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Megan. We're going to move on to departmental reports. Police Department, Chief Davis. Mayor, Vice Mayor, newly elected Alderman. Uh, we have a good issue with the Police Department with the report this time. Uh, as you can see in your packet, we upgraded to a new uh, CAD system uh, on the 8th of November. And as far as the data conversion and analytics that's the last thing that gets convert, uh, converted over 
However, I do have um, <clears throat> the numbers for November 1st through November 8th, if you can see. Um, even in those eight days, we had deaths from, from three motor vehicles, uh, five motor vehicle deaths, but we also recovered four uh, in that time period. Um, in this particular uh, month, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. is the main time that, uh, that the vehicles are being broken into. And uh, it doesn't show how many were locked. I guess that's a part of the data that we don't have. But the LPR activity is for a full month. Uh, when uh, next month come, I'll have the addendum to the, no the rest of the November stats as well as November, uh, December stats to report to you all uh, at that time. Any questions? Chief, can you talk to us about Blue Sentinel and how it's, it's yeah, Blue Sentinel uh, is a license plate reader program. Um, we have, uh, we established uh, cameras, uh, Murfreesboro Road on both ends, leading in and out of the city. Um, but we have um, installed more cameras now. Our next set of cameras up at I-24, all directions there. We'll also be uh, having cameras on industrial at uh, Sanders, as well as the roundabout, and uh, somewhere around the three-way stop. So that's our next, next phase of the cameras. That's already been budgeted <laughs> and approved by the board. Uh, we're just waiting. I guess they're on the ship somewhere in the ocean just waiting to get all of our equipment in for that. But Take it's, it's very positive. Um, we we very successful program, not only for re recovering stolen vehicles, but also um, it's really helping our criminal investigations as well, too, tracking cars when they come in and out of the city and things like that. And when you say three-way stop, which three-way stop are you talking about? The three-way stop at uh, Old Nashville and Cheney. Cheney? Is that what you, yeah. It's been a while since I counted. <laughs> yes. Not a problem. Any other questions? Thank you, sir. Fire Department, Chief Beasley. Good evening, Mayor, Vice Mayor, all the women. Welcome to the team. Glad to have y'all. Um, I trust that each one of y'all have had an opportunity to review our reports for the month. Uh, just in the last couple of days, we surpassed last year's number as a total. So we'll surpass our number of runs this year, probably about 250 to 300 runs for the year. So no rhyme or reason. It's just an increase, I think, that's across the board for, for the fire service in general. Um, the, the runs are increasing by and large. So uh, medical calls still respond about 80% of what we do. So do you all have any questions? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Moving on to Parks and Recreation, Mr. David McGowan. Mayor, Vice Mayor, Board, new members, welcome. Um, you guys got the parks numbers for this past month. You can see help desk tickets 69, 536 man hours devoted to those under projects. Probably what was failed to left out was install of the snow rink on the tennis court. So we have converted our tennis court into a snow rink. Um, past events, November 11th was our Veterans Day celebration. Um, that took place here at City Hall due to the weather. November the 30th, we had the family night at the snow rink. That was actually the kickoff night. Um, it officially opened on uh, December 1st to the public. December 3rd was our Parade of Lights and Winter Festival this past weekend. Um, amazing turnout. I think we may have just about outgrown that too. I don't want to say we were not prepared for the people that were there, but we're gonna to have to adjust our layout next year to just to get a little more room up front. Um, just the sheer amount of people that came through that park that night was unbelievable. So that was more reminiscent of an old timers day, the amount of people that came through there. If we can't use that front field for parking, it kind of congests everything in the back and kind of bottlenecks it. Um, so hopefully next, next year we'll get a little bit better weather, that front field will be available for parking. We can spread out a little bit more. Um, upcoming events, January 16th, Martin Luther King Jr. celebration. Um, we plan for that to take place here at City Hall. There's a possibility that we may move that to the multi-purpose building, um, depending if things work out right and we get a lot of feedback, positive feedback, we may move that event there. Um, Fe February 4th, we put that on there. I know we're a little bit out. Um, that's the father and daughter dance. Um, that is gonna take place at the multi-purpose building this year. Um, senior Center past events, November 4th, lunch at Asuka. 
November 17th, they had their Thanksgiving launching upcoming events, um, Shoney's Breakfast. Uh, December 14th is their Christmas dinner at the Multipurpose Building, and then they have a field trip planned to Uncle Bud's. Um, no meetings in January. Um, Kathy would like to say thanks to Bridget Cole and Laverne High School Beta Club for the snow rink volunteers. We've had at least two, um, sometimes up to four show up every day that's been open to assist us in giving out skates and Box 100 for all their help at the Winter Festival. Any questions? <coughs> David, do you wanna, uh, do you wanna go ahead and say who we're working on as the uh, guest speaker for the Martin Luther King Day well, celebration? I can comfortably, I don't wanna I don't want to get overly excited about it in case something does happen, but we did have a verbal commitment yesterday after our staff meeting. Um, we have had some pretty, um, pretty awesome guest speakers for that event in the past. We've had Sidney McPhee from, Dr. McPhee from MTSU, Dr. Gloria Bonner a couple of times. This year we have Shamil Balbalosa signed up, and yesterday we confirmed with John DeBerry. If anybody is not familiar with him, he is a legendary Tennessee lawmaker. Mm -hmm. um, I believe he marched with Dr. King. I believe he was at Dr. King's in the audience, uh, Dr. King's last speech the day before he was assassinated. So uh, he's now senior advisor in Governor Lee's cabinet, and we're thrilled to death to get him. Um, I've seen a lot of things for the better in this city <clears throat> since I started working here, and this is probably <coughs> about one of the most that I'm excited about. If we can pull that off, firsthand knowledge and experience of that, segregation, um, that would be huge for us. Good to hear. So sir. keep our fingers crossed. I don't want to, he did confirm yesterday, so that's good. Um, trying to work the logistics out with his team, but we're really looking forward to that. I texted my wife as soon as we got that confirmation and said I'm pumped about this one. We've been working on him for a couple of years. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to the library, Miss Donna Bebout. We missed you at the workshop. <laughs> I heard you all had some special guests. Good evening, <coughs> Mayor, Vice Mayor, Alderwomen. Good to that see you. That almost got shot. <laughs> <laughs> and tased. Um, okay, we'll move on. For the month of November, you can see that our numbers are beginning to inch up a little bit at a time. COVID did a number on us like it did many places, but we are gaining ground now with our attendance and our circulation. And we distributed 60 new patron cards. So that's still going great. I wanted to talk about three events that we're going to be having in <coughs> December. Uh, one of the ones is our Saturday movies at the library. We have been doing this for about four months now, and attendance has been very light. We would love to see uh, friends to come out and sit in the meeting room with us, watch the movie Elf, eat some snacks, and just have a good time laughing together. That's going to be on December the 10th at 2 p.m. We're having a very special jammy story time reading night. That will be Thursday, this coming Thursday, December the 8th at 5.30 p.m. Our guest readers are Laverne High School Junior ROTC Wolverine Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel retired Glenn Shirley, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Riley Hill, and Cadet Major Leah Mondragon, and the student leadership will be in attendance. Uh, they're going to be reading seven books created from scratch by themselves about the seven army values. I would like to read an email that I received from uh, Cadet Major Leah Mondragon. She says, we are Laverne High School Junior ROTC Wolverine Battalion. As a part of our annual service learning project, we, as a battalion, have decided on creating seven different books made by our program completely from scratch about our seven Army values. These values are loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. Each plot of the books was designed by our class leaders, then given to our cadets. 
the cadets then partnered up and created a page of dialogue and illustration. The student leadership then digitalized our books and printed them out so that we would successfully be able to read and donate to our community. The reason behind this project is to educate both our community and ourselves about how valuable our seven Army values can be by putting them into real life situations. Our students learning how to write and work as a team is really important in our program. We wanted to give back to our community and reach toward the younger generation. We wanted to include the younger students and hopefully teach them important lessons that we wish we could have learned at their age. We hope to help them grow into respectable and well-behaved young adults. Lieutenant Colonel retired Glenn Shirley, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Riley Hill, Cadet Major Leah Mondragon, and our student leadership will be in attendance at our reading night this Thursday, December the 8th at 5.30 p.m. in the Storytime Room. We are looking forward to reading the books we created. We are also extremely grateful to the Laverne Public Library for letting us use the library to read to our community. Very excited to have these people come and be a part of our story times. They went to several of the elementary schools and gave out flyers. We're hoping to get several of our students in from our different schools for the story time. We welcome everyone. I think this will be in a unique situation and a unique uh, experience. <laughs> Okay, and the last thing that will be going on at the library to end us up for the holidays is a story time with Mrs. Claus and a visit from Santa Claus. This will be Saturday, December the 17th. The story time will begin at 1 p.m. and Santa appears at 1.30. Santa will be in the gallery meeting his friends until 3.30. Goodie bags and snacks to go will be available. Be sure and bring your camera, your phone, so you can take pictures and capture those memories. And of course, you can find all of our events and all of our programs at catalog.laverntn.gov. Are there any questions? Okay, thank you. Time, though. <laughs> <coughs> Finance report. Ms. Tanya. Good evening, Mayor, Vice Mayor, Alderman, Alderwomen. I'll be giving you the highlights of our financial report. Um, in our general fund, our expenses exceeded revenue by 871000 On our local sales tax, our year-to-date amount is $5,220,000. That's $1,220,000 above budget and $394,000 above our prior year. State Street Aid. Revenues exceeded expenses by 32,800. Stormwater, expenses exceeded revenue by 92,000. Water and sewer, our revenue exceeded expenses by a million three, a million three thousand. Uh, on our second page, this is our bank balances. In our third page, we're comparing to prior year. In our general fund, our revenue is up 86,600. Our expenses are up 403000 In the water and sewer, our revenue's up 190970 Expenses are up 9677 And our water sewer tap fee revenue is down 84600 Any questions? No, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Water treatment plant, Mr. Danny Campbell. Mayor, Vice Mayor, Board, welcome to the Board. Uh, I trust that you've had the opportunity to look over uh, the monthly report for the water treatment plant. Uh, there's one thing I would like to note. Uh, I want to say thank you to um, Mike Dietz, Doug Oakley, and Public Works for assisting the water treatment plant clearing some scrap metal we had uh, in the, at the back of the plant. So cleaned it up nice and we appreciate their help. Any questions? Yes, sir. I've got some questions about your uh, 
Customer service complaints. Can you go through those for me? Yes, sir. We had two customer complaints this month, both for low pressure. They both consisted of complaints regarding uh, low pressure due to what they, uh, what the customer stated as pebbles or, uh, I guess, little rocks, clogs in their in their kitchen faucets. They believed it was due to the incoming water, so they requested that we, we flush the, the nearest hydrant. We did do that. That is not something we typically do due to their request. Uh, it was done. However, there are, we are working with the, the plant staff in order to come up with better ways to handle these low pressure complaints, looking at like we normally do with the PRVs as well as anything else that might be causing those issues. Is the, do you all reach out to Public Works with Michael Dietz's department at all with this? Because I know uh, sometimes if they have like a water softening system that's, um, that's been punctured, some, some of that will cause some of those pebbles that they're seeing, um, yes. as well as to also check the screen that's at the, um, the meter. Because if that's, again, not, if that's failing, um, that could be the cause of that versus just flushing it and it coming back around to flush again because uh, depending on how far the, away they are from the hydrant, that that may not even have an impact on them. Yes, sir. And and that's why we want to work on, on first to answer your question, I have not reached out to Mike about these complaints here. I have to, I still need to reach back out to the customer to make sure that this issue has resolved. If it has not, I plan to talk to Mike and also try to resolve this issue in better ways, as you stated, to make sure that we're not missing something. So if, if there is pebbles actually in their, or in our line, in the distribution line, that we can find a way to, to rid that so it's not affecting the customers. Okay, any other questions? What about your high, your number two pump? Is that the same one that was on there last month or is that a different one? Different. So this happened actually Thursday. So we just, uh, we, we're going to rotate the pumps, found out that there is a motor failure alarm on there. We, we're, we're in the middle of troubleshooting that, still trying to figure out what's going on with that, working with uh, Eaton MR systems, trying to see what exactly is going on with, with, the, uh, with the drive. The motor <coughs> seems to be intact. We have checked all the wiring and everything seems to be reacting the way we want it to, so we think it's something more internally in the drive. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to old business, second reading ordinance 2022-24, an ordinance to amend the fiscal year 2022-2023 fire impact fee fund budget. Need a motion to approve or deny? I make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve from <laughs> Alderwoman Haas. Is there a second? Second. A second. Second from Alderwoman Hobbs. Alderman Waldron. Uh, Alderman Haas. Aye. Alderman Hobbs. Aye. Vice Mayor, no. Aye. Motion passes. That's what <laughs> oh yeah. That's why I said. Oh, did you one. say her first? No, oh, he said. I said you. But I responded. For oh, for both. It's, okay. Yeah. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Second reading ordinance 2022-25, an ordinance to amend the fiscal year 2022-2023 general fund budget. Need a motion to approve or deny. I make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve from Alderwoman Haas. Is there a second? Our second. Alderman Waldron. Aye. Alderwoman Hobbs. Aye. Alderwoman Haas. Aye. Vice Mayor No. Aye. Motion passes. Next we have the consent agenda. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. A motion to approve from Vice Mayor No. Is there a second? Our second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Moving on to new business, resolution 2022-26, a resolution of the City of Laverne Board of Mayor and Alderman to declare property owned by the city to be surplus to the city's needs and directing disposal of the same. Need a motion to approve or deny? I make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve from Alderwoman Haas. Is there a second? Our okay. second. Alderman Waldron. Uh, Alderwoman Hobbs. 
Aye. Alderman Haas? Aye. Vice Mayor, no. Aye. Motion passes. <clears throat> Resolution 2022-27, a resolution to donate surplus stop sticks to Weekly County Sheriff's Office. Need a motion to approve or deny? I'll make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve from Alderwoman Hobbs. Is there a second? Second. Second from Alderwoman Haas. Alderman Waldron. Aye. Alderwoman Hobbs. Aye. Alderwoman Haas. Aye. Vice Mayor, no. Aye. Motion passes. Resolution 2022-28, a resolution to authorize city officials and employees to take such action as they deem appropriate to enforce the bid bond submitted by Fellowship Construction Incorporated and issued by Ohio Farmers Westfield Insurance Company. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. Have a motion to approve from Vice Mayor No. I will second. Alderman Waldron. Alderwoman Hobbs. Aye. Alderwoman Haas. Aye. Vice Mayor, no. Aye. I vote aye. Resolution passes. Moving on to appoint or remove board and committee members. First, we've got the Beautification and Arts Advisory Committee. We need to appoint a council member to this committee. We also have one vacancy due to the resignation of Marshall Smith, and we have received one application from and Anne Marie Carter. Um, I'll make a motion to appoint Alderwoman Hobbs and Anne Marie Carter to this board. Is there a second? I second. Second from Alderwoman Haas. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Motion passes. Next we have Economic Development Advisory Committee. We need to appoint a council member to this committee. I make a motion to appoint Mayor Jason Cole to this committee. I have a motion to appoint myself. Is there a second? I'll second. Second from Vice Mayor No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Next we have the Greenway Advisory Committee. We need to appoint a council member to this committee. I make a motion to appoint Alderwoman Hobbs. I have a motion for Alderwoman Hobbs. Is there a second? Second. Second from Vice Mayor No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Next we have the Laverne Housing Authority. Um, the term for Chuck Isbell expired on November 30th. Um, he would like to stay on this board. We have no other applicants, so I will appoint him back to the Housing Authority. Next we have the library board we need to appoint a council member um, and the chairman of the board is selected by the library board uh, members as required by state law we need a motion to appoint someone i make a motion to appoint mayor jason cole to this board i have a motion to appoint myself is there a second a second second from vice mayor no all in favor aye, aye. opposed Abstain. Next, we have the Local Emergency Planning Committee. Um, we need to appoint a council member to this committee, and I will make a motion to appoint Alderwoman Haas. Is there a second? Second. Second from Vice Mayor, no. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstained. <clears throat> Next, we have the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee. We've got one vacancy on the board due to the resignation of Carol Haas, and uh, we have received one applicant, uh, Rick Autry, for this, so I will appoint him to that board. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. That motion passes. Next, we have the Planning Commission. We have got, um, we need to appoint a council member to the Planning Commission, and I'm gonna make a motion to appoint Carol Haas to that. Is there a second? I'll second. Second from Vice Mayor, no. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstained. Motion passes. I'm also going to remove Diane Sanders and John Rutledge from the Planning Commission, and appoint Mark Molnar and Graham Coates to the Planning Commission. 
Last, we have the Senior Citizens Advisory Committee. We have one term vacant, which is Carol Hosses, and um, we already have two applicants to this board. We've got Chuck Isbell and Tabitha Howard. Um, our point, Tabitha Howard, to this board. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. That motion passes. Moving on to Mayor and Alderman comments. Alderman Waldron. We're in December. Make sure your pets have fresh water in and, and shelter. Computer program or Check on the elderly. Um, an issue that I've got a lot of calls on is the sale of the fire station one on Stoneville Road for $300,000. And the concern was that the pawn shop next door was auctioned off and it was auctioned off at $650,000 plus a 10% buyer fee. That puts that above $700,000. Uh, uh, I thought I'd bring that to attention. And uh, again, I have put on the agenda about the hiring and firing issues. And again, the mayor has removed it. That's all I've got. Thank you. Thank you. Alderwoman Hobbs. Yes, yeah, just a couple announcements here. Um, the Laverne Rescue Unit, Unit Fundraiser is having a country camp breakfast uh, this Saturday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., $12 per person. I'd also like to announce the South Waldron neighbors are doing a food drive next week from December 11th through the 18th. You can reach out to Diane Sanders or reach out to my city email at khobbs at lavernetn.gov uh, if you're unable to find additional details on that. Uh, via Facebook. Uh, second of all, I want to thank John Rutledge and Diane Sanders for your commitment and dedication for vol volunteering as members of the Planning Commission. The community has been blessed to have you advocating for our interests the past two years. Uh, I'm personally disheartened by this decision, knowing your love and service to Laverne, not just for the last two years on the Planning Commission, but for the decades you've been a part of this community. <clears throat> I express my concern over the dismissal of planning commission members prior to the expiration of their term, though Mayor Cole has the right to appoint and dismiss members without a nomination or vote from the Board of Mayor and Aldermen. I feel an explanation for the action would encourage the culture of transparency and accountability to our city government. To my knowledge, there's been no allegations or evidence of misconduct, so it's certainly a bit shocking Mayor Cole would dismiss members he personally appointed in 2020 especially Ms. Sanders, who he entrusted with the title of vice chair. Mr. Rutledge, who was appointed in 2020 with the term expiration of December 2024, though ran as the mayor's opposition this past election cycle, still represents the interest, vision, and the values of 30% of Laverne's voting population, which is no small number. So I think it would be unreasonable to say his perspective is not relevant to our community. <clears throat> Again, I encourage the mayor to address the matter, given that these could be misinterpreted as, you know, perhaps a overall poor judgment of character if you appointed these res well-respected and upstanding individuals and now have such grave concern over these positions that you would terminate these volunteers prior to their terms, or perhaps that the individuals no longer fit your agenda and are replaced with those to do such. So neither of these are to be considered as accusations, but certainly an opportunity for you to bring clarity and transparency to your actions for our community. Thank you. Thank you. Alderwoman Haas. Please order. Alderwoman Haas. Uh, I just once again like to thank everyone that came out for the swearing in ceremony. I know the weather was really icky and that's one of my favorite words. So, um, and again, the holiday season is coming up. Please uh, remember safe travels if you're traveling and if you're staying home. Happy holidays. Thank you. Vice Mayor, no? No, sir. Got nothing. Well, I just want to remind everybody about the libraries, um, different holiday events. December 8th is the uh, special jammies time at 530. December 10th is uh, 2 p.m. ELF. And then December 17th is story time with Mrs. Claus and Santa. 
So we're going to have a good time. With that, I wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Call this meeting adjourned. 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 Thank you.